Hey guys, very quick video today bringing you some extra information on the Interceptor Javelin in Bioware's next game, Anthem, thanks to IGN's footage. So quick that I'll put the typical YouTuber guy stuff at the end of the video. If you don't understand anything, check out my other informational videos below. Let's begin. Firstly, the video mentions that the Interceptors are great at neutralizing small targets. This is not entirely true. The Interceptor has some of the highest damage in the game up close and has access to acid status effects, which lower the enemy's resistance to further damage, so they're especially good at taking out key targets and bosses. Especially good when you pop your ultimate and go ham sandwich, as if allowed to attack for the full duration, it's the most damaging ultimate in the game. The downside is you can't use any other abilities or fly during the duration, but who cares? You're invincible. Also, when the duration ends, you'll have full health and shields, so it will be great to save the ultimate until you're close to death and use it like an oh shit button. One thing I didn't cover in my last video was that while the Interceptor's shields are recharging, if you move, they will recharge at a faster rate the faster you go. So dodging, weaving and staying mobile will have you back in the action faster, which is great considering that is what the Interceptor does best, guerrilla warfare. And it's especially easy with the Interceptor because it has a triple jump instead of a double like the others. It also has a triple dash and a double barrel roll. It's been hinted before that some Interceptor gear will proc powerful effects when you utilize the triple dash. Next we have the target beacon. It places a marker on a target and they take bonus damage while marked. If killed while it's active, it will spread to the next target. This ability is seen by your team so the Interceptor could theoretically take the role of team leader in difficult encounters, directing the team's focus fire without having to say a word. The loadout they show in the video uses the Cairo Glaive to apply a freeze effect to the target and Tempest Strike to detonate that combo. You can see here on the abilities that the Glaive primes ice and the Tempest Strike detonates. The Glaive has decent range so it's great to set up on a target, then by using your superior agility, dash in and detonate the target with Tempest Strike. Tempest Strike also stuns weaker targets and seems to now hit with AoE. So this build is great for melee, but as you see right here, the Interceptor also has a sniper rifle equipped. Sitting back when you need to recharge your shields, throwing Cairo Glaives and sniper rounds will be a decent strategy. Considering the sniper's low ammo, it doesn't seem like it would be good for prolonged fights though. The next loadout we see is Venom Spray and Seeker Glaive. Venom Spray is a close range ability that has acid properties to it. Like mentioned, acid status effects lower the target's defense, but what you see here is a target not being affected by the status effect. Keep in mind, each ability will have a status effect chance based on the item the ability is tied to and its stats. So you won't be freezing every time or burning or applying acid or shocking. Also, the target is a Valkyrie, which is a Dominion Storm Javelin. It has a shield and if it's anything like Mass Effect, targets with a shield will heavily resist ability effects. Same with armored targets like the Elite we see here. So, to apply effects on targets with a shield, take down the shield first. Those with armor will simply heavily resist your effects, so plan accordingly. Seeker Glaive does what you expect, throws out a glaive that seeks your target. It seems to do high damage and is a throw and forget kind of ability. Adding some extra DPS to targets outside of your melee range or targets that you have yet to reach. The next skill they show off is Cluster Mine. It's basically a cluster grenade though, but I think they want to reserve that term for the ranger. It's a single thrown projectile. After the grenade makes contact, it splits into clusters which explode after a set amount of time. So you can hit a lot of smaller targets or one big key target for major damage. What they didn't show though was the ability next to it, Nova Strike. You can see it here. The Interceptor sends out a projection of itself, a ghost-like ninja Dragon Ball Z projection that attacks enemies it comes in contact with. What is notable about this? Well, it gives the Interceptor a ranged melee attack. You see, if you build for melee, your Nova Strike will get the bonuses. So this gives you an option to still attack at range when your build encourages you to get up close in melee. Pretty sneaky, Mr. Space Ninja. Well, I hope that wets your beak for today. A reminder, the competition to win a digital copy of Anthem on the platform of your choice is still running. Follow the link below to enter before it's too late. I'll be streaming Anthem from the moment the VIP demo drops so be sure to follow me on Twitch. If you like my content, a like and comment helps. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll be back very soon with more meaty video content. Much love.